Hi, this is Sally Jo from Garth, and I'm going to do your little tour today so I can show off some of our tanks and talk to you about some of the projects we are working on and show off, of course, some of my home-raised molly fish and whoever else dances in the picture. That's Penelope. She's a copper band butterfly fish and she absolutely loves Aptasias. Best Aptasia eater I've ever seen. We either move her tank to tank or move a rock with Aptasias in it to her. If you're interested in buying a copper band butterfly fish, just make sure they're eating before you bring it home from the pet store. Often they're starved and they won't survive in the tank. All of these corals you see here have been grown right here in Boise, Idaho. All of them have been propagated by my hands or Leroy's hands and allowed to grow out until the next time we cut them. yellow stars back here have just grown and grown and grown and grown since we started feeding the mollies and it's a huge benefit what we get from, from feeding. We used to skim, skim, skim and feed, not feed at all and I am now totally going to feed, feed, feed and little, little skim and just work on keeping the tank in balance and I do that really naturally with the hermit crabs and snails what one hermit can eat the other one can't and what one snail can eat the other ones can't so the mixture that we put together helps control diatoms hair algae biopsis and you name it it takes care of it and you can have fun playing in your tank while they do all the work that's why they're called reef janitors and they're famous all around the united states if you're interested in one of our algae control packs, just give us a call. 1-800-600-6163. We will be delighted to assist you with any order. Bye for now. This tank I'm showing you right now is our 70-gallon tank. And it also has many propagated corals from Garth and all man-made rock. It also has some of my mollies. Yep, they're in every single tank here at Garth. And I love them. And they're just so friendly. They just always want to play and be fed. And watch this. I'll see if I can do this. I'm moving the camera. I'm sorry for that. But let's see if I can do this so you can see. There's my hand. Oh, here comes the molly kisses. Come on, guys. Where's my molly kisses? Whoa. -oh. No molly kisses today. Oh, there was almost one. There was one. Not like in the other tanks. I'll show you what a real molly kisses are all about. This tank again is cleaned with our hermits and snails. This is a cirrus snail. And they just do such an absolute great job cleaning the tank of algae and keeping the tank in balance all by itself. This is a pair of my clownfish. We started laying eggs. So soon I'll start raising those again. You can tell my molly, they did it all on their own. Look at her. She's about ready to pop. I'm even propagating these disc corals, and I'll show you about that when we get to that next propagating tank. I love the amphilias. They're so graceful. This kind of makes it so peaceful and so calming. Mushrooms are great. There's so many different colors. Zoanthids, polyphilas. I stopped naming them because I couldn't remember all the names. These are a great coral to have too. These are cat 
really have domesticated them now. So they shift better, they grow better, they live better, they propagate better even. If you're interested in one of our coral packages, it's five corals plus three free, free for a hundred dollars. And it's just a mixture of our soft corals or hard corals or half and half. Half hard and half soft. Numbers one eight hundred six hundred six one six zero. Thank you and have a great day.